<laughs> Good morning. I've been inspired to do a video. You know me, I'm just going to be pumping this stuff out, right? My theory is kind of like World War II when the American soldiers were going up against the German, the, the Nazi um, panzers. We had like, they were those, the Tiger tanks that the Nazis had were badass. They were superior to ours. But what we had were numbers. We just inundated them to the point where we overwhelmed them. So that's what I'm gonna do to YouTube. I'm just gonna inundate YouTube with videos. Hopefully, they're gonna be quality and something you can either laugh at or <laughs> or just, you know, makes you think. Things that make you go, hmm. <clears throat> Today, thanks to an inspiration by God, we're gonna talk about jumping the shark. Oh yeah. A phrase coined after happy days a great show, by the way. Really love that show. It's, it basically is, you drag something on too long that you know you should have walked away from, but instead, you jumped the shark. It was ridiculous. You had Fonzie on skis in a leather jacket with the life preserver jumping sharks in L.A. or some shit. I don't remember the exact connotation of the whole so what you need to understand is to avoid that jumping the shark moment in your life. You know what I mean? No one to walk away, right? Whether it's a relationship or a job or just an environment. If you see a volcano blowing, that's that's about time to, you know, you pass jump the shark, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? You got to start swimming off the island. So... You know, extreme example. Hopefully no, that's not happening. I heard about, you know, the Canary Islands is getting pretty hot. <clears throat> but yeah, jumping the shark in everything, in life. You know, I've I've been very good about trying not to avoid those jumping the shark moments in many occasions. Relationships, when you know it's, you know, there's nothing you can do anymore. There's nothing more you can learn. There's, n there's no more growing in that point, in that situation. You get the fuck on. You move on. You you grow. You expand. A great scene at the beginning of Dune when, you know, the, the father's talking to the son before they leave for um, Arrakis. And he's telling them, you know, change is good. It brings out the best in people. It, it, the sleeper must awaken. So, yeah, that's a cool movie. Anyway. But yeah, they split the old version. But, um, not that the new one's not good. I haven't seen it yet. But, you know, I'm, I have high hopes. You know, don't touch a movie if it's not going to, if you're not going to make it epic, right? They have failed. There's many of, you know, the second or the third movies, it was just shit. But, you know what I mean? What are you going to do? The first is classic, like Blade Runner. Great example. Loved Blade Runner. Ryan Gosling just, man. <sighs> disappointed as hell just that guy's a horrible fucking actor i'm sorry i'll go on forever about that guy but yeah that that i didn't even watch that i didn't even watch blade runner the second one i just i knew he was in it and i was like no <clears throat> driver turned me off to that dude he's just no anyway and i don't care about no notebook or that crap horrible actor the dude is like i don't get it i don't buy it guy has like ripped chest and that's all the chicks need to think he's an amazing actor I digress. No one, to, no one to, to leave before you end up. You're wearing a leather jacket, strapped to a a life preserver, jumping live sharks. Okay, just take that into consideration. You always want to get out of a situation before you're jumping a shark, because that's never a good idea. Nobody wants to jump sharks. I don't want to jump them. I just assume watch them on the Nature Channel, right? So. That's the lesson for today. That's my bitch. That's my rant. This is the video. No jumping the shark, people. No one to move on. Great example of Miami Vice. Great show in the 80s. Next thing you know, Sheena Easton got on. He got married. Crockett lost. Got amnesia. And, oh, come on now. Yeah, it got weird. I'm just saying, but that was an awesome show. The first three seasons, amazing. Enough said. And they're bringing it back. Good for them. But anyway. No jumping the shark, people. Let's keep it, keep it honest. Keep it real. Stay cool. 
Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go now. Uh, have a, I'm going to go sell some art and see how that works. You have a wonderful weekend. I love you. God loves you and the universe is really digging you right now. So stay frosty. Keep that high ground and do good, okay? Okay, love you. Bye.